This year was full of surprises. Spring was late and no summer in sight. But with the boom, June was harder than ever. So, this is my story of a summer to remember. Not in a good way, more a reminder how upside down everything can be. But let's start with April and sea trout fishing. Awesome days by the west coast and started really good on the first day a trophy trout and with the fly vascaviola. The thought goes like, yes, this is my year. And the trout will just pray for my flies to come into the side. My holy moly god, this is my year. Jävlar! Den tog fan med... Åh... Jag får inte kontroll på det. Jag tror när jag var där nog i vattnet. Believe it or not, but this was not my year. For me this summer of 2023 really sucked regarding weather, hatches, high water in rivers, bad luck and much much more. I think many of you agree with me for this year's fishing. We can all take a minute and think about what's happening to Mother Earth. Because this year I think everyone can see a big difference in the amount of insects in the air and the behavior of the trout. We can only hope it will get better next year, but I think it's just a matter of getting used to it. However, I think the trout will survive longer than we do, so they find a way, but do we find it? The month of May came, when the dry fly season started, and we got some nice trout, but something was wrong, and it wasn't like it used to be. It was the weather, and the hatches was not there. June is like my favorite month. Everything is fresh and the smell of green fields once so. Me and Patrick went up north in Sweden for a week. And as I said in the beginning, it was hot as hell in June. 25, 30 degrees and with waders on. The smell in those waders, man. My God. Love is in the air. Pack off now. <laughs> we did camp outside for four days and the smell got more and more intense and in the end Patrick said come on Magnus you really need a shower and that's happening today and off we went to rent a cabin for the rest of the week. Here comes a beat instead of a shoot. Let's see if it goes up to the top of it. Det är ganska lite. Ja. Det var den där som var uppe. 
Oj, Men eh, grattis. Ja. <laughs> det var ett jävla stor. Det var ganska kraftig. Ganska ljus, ja. Det tror jag var. Står du på plus två nu eller? Ja. ja. <laughs> Den borde gå bra. Men uh, helt okej. Okay. Har du vågat? Jag har nog vågat. Ja, det. Gå bort. Nu kommer den då. I never encountered trout so easily spoke before. It was remarkable. Sneaking up from a distance of 10 to 50 meters behind the trout, and it darted away as if it senses my presence instantly. How did they manage to detect me? Det blev bra. Det blev perfekt. Den går på den. Den tog den. Jajamän! Den är stor. Den är stor. Ah. <laughs> Stack den. Nej det. We did fish in the water with both trout and grayling, and after a while you started to think as a grayling does, and what that means is that you don't think at all. If you sum this up, we scared a lot of trout when we thought it was grayling. Den stack! Du, det var ingen harr. Vad tror du? Stå så eller? Nej, stå så. Ja, skulle du få en kastningsrunga där på... Det blir rätt lite kritiskt kast där, men om man står i mitten... Tänk dig nästan. Nå. Ja, gött. Nej! Inte intresserad. Är det? Nej. Kände så. Jag är bara på torrt i alla fall. Har du in sig eller? 
I got to say we got a lot of grayling this week, but I was there for trout. So as we sat and ate traditional noodle lunch, I saw a rising fish a little bit upstream, and I started to think as a grayling again. I thought for sure it was a grayling rising, because we have seen them right there a little earlier in the day, and it ended like this. Oh, herr jävla, det där är ingen här. Men det är skogadingarna. Åh, fan, det är väcka. Ha? Det är fan. Det kan bli en resa för att den kommer väl gå in under... Vad är det i helvete? Nej! Nej! Satan! Jag tog fluga. Sen nu. Då. Det är skillnaden med herrar, de går alltid neråt. My god Magnus, don't you see it goes upstream right now? Jag får nog nästan be kameramannen om... Jag får trötta ut den ännu mer. Jag är på honom. På en <laughs> Oj! Oh. Uh. The yearly travel up north, we got like 10 days in the mountains, and the first week was not a trophy trout week. Instead it was a competition in catching the most of 10 to 20 centimeters trout in one day. Very funny if you like that kind of fishing. When we left the first week behind us and changed location, we had this helicopter ride in front of us. I had such high hopes and I thought to myself, now the lock has changed and let's take the big ones. But we need to go back one day from this helicopter ride because we were very close to miss this trip. I have to document this because uh, it's, we are in the middle of nowhere. We were driving to a fishing spot and suddenly we got a flat tire. So, yeah, yeah, happy days. I don't... So we are actually, I had to, we don't have any connection here, so we, we had to, I have to use my SOS bottom in the, in the car to, to talk to the police 
and I called someone to pick, pick the car up. You can't change the tires because you don't have any spare tires in the car nowadays. So we are a little pissed actually. So we are waiting here now, but we don't know what's happening. So hmm, uh, maybe we go home, I don't know. Maybe we still fish, I don't know. But I have to document this. So uh, this is road. Yeah, you know, not so fun, not so fun at all, actually. So, what to do? Happy days, happy days. Uh, okay, 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 testing, testing, testing. I was thinking to take you with me for a fishing day. So, I, from the camp and down the river and see what we can find. So I will take a walk alone. Frederick is, uh, and John is up in the camp. So I will try to see how boring fishing really is. Just looking for rising fish. Uh, okay, so this is my first stop. Uh, you don't have to um, go with me when I'm walking. It's quite boring. This is the first stop, so I, I show you where that is. It just take some minutes here. So, hmm, should be fish here, but uh, to be honest, I haven't seen anything. So, we do have a fish over there. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite spot. So. I will stay here for like five minutes, see if there is any other fish around. To be honest, reaching 50 years of age makes something with your body. And you are not that flexible anymore. And you feel like an old man walking on stilts. Now comes the fun part and to criticize yourself. One good thing about filming yourself is that you can analyze your fishing. Just to clarify. I did see a rising trout to the left, and that was big. But I did also see a smaller one to the right, and I wanted to try that one first. I'm using my full weight epic glass rod, but I'm using the wrong fly line with a short bell. Not preferred and you can easily see in my cast which are not good at all. The thing I'm doing well here is that I start quite far from where I did see the rising trout and work myself upstream, slowly and carefully. Like 30 to 50 cars later, the trout wanted to have a bite on my fly.
When I look at it now, it seems that I'm not into it and just wanted to land it as fast as possible. Always a mistake to stress the trout too much. Quite good size, but in my head I was after the bigger one little upstreams. Lost it. One kilogram maybe. Uh, that's how it goes sometimes. Um, yeah, I lost it. Maybe I stressed it too, too hard. I don't know. Yeah. I've seen a fish here. A really big one. So that's next destination. I believe the trout upstream was around 3 to 4 kilos and I saw it doing head and tail every 15 to 20 minutes going around in circles and rising one or two times then stopped and went back into the stream again before it took its rounds again it ended up with one fish scale on my dry fly hook but I missed the hook set but it was like a victory anyway because I didn't have time to fight with it I had like 2 to 3 kilometers to the camp and it was like an hour before the helicopter should arrive and pick us up. Next time I have the time. I managed to get to the camp in time. And after a cup of coffee, we did sum this up as one of our worst fishing trips ever. I got this nice trout as a consolation prize the last day. Now it's time to go home and to end this.